Dixon and I are uh, getting ready to leave here. Gonna head down to the Dallas for the evening. Then tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead and meet up in Brothers, Oregon with Casey from Coyote Works and some of his subscribers and do a three-day overland trip. I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, come along for the ride. guys well Dixon and I made it down to the Dalles last night made it in super late I was dead tired um, stopped here at this little pull-off area um, we're just waking up I'm gonna tear down camp and then uh, get down in the bend get some more fuel and uh, head out to brothers <laughs> Just pulled into Brothers, Oregon. Uh, there's quite a few people here. I'm guessing at least 15 to 20 cars. And it's only 11.30, so we'll see how many of us are going to be going on this trip. Glad I made it. It was a long drive, though. Pretty much eight-hour trip for me. Oh, man, guys. There's a ton of Jeeps here. A lot more people than I thought. There's part of the crew. Bunch of cool vehicles. We're all heading out. Casey just gave the thumbs up. So I would say there's probably, there's well over 30 vehicles. It's a huge turnout. It's gonna be a really awesome trip. We're gonna go about 20 miles up the road just outside Brothers, uh, turn off. Everybody's gonna air down, and then we got about 15 mile uh, trip into the first camp. This is crazy. It blows my mind on how many people uh, have shown up here. There's people, like I said, from Tennessee, Wyoming, Idaho. There's a vehicle here from Texas. So it's not just us local Northwest boys. There's a lot of people from around the country to come to this. So I'm pretty excited to be a part of it.
Camp's all set up. Everything's good. Really, nothing else to do except sit back and have some whiskey. Well, that's what's for dinner tonight. Some jambalaya. I'm going to throw in some uh, Tyson chicken. It's been a really good trip so far. Just going to have some dinner. It looks like we have uh, a couple of the other campers. Uh, we've already got a fire going, so... I'll go ahead and go over there here in a little bit after dinner. Oh. Be a good dinner. Oh yeah, the temperature's dropping pretty quick actually. It's gonna be down in the 20s or something they said tonight, so. I mean, I'm good. I got my zero degree bag, so. It'll be a nice cool night. All right, good morning, guys. Just making some breakfast here. Making some breakfast, we got some bacon going. It's a little cold this morning. I don't know what the temperature is, but um, it's definitely chilly. Slept pretty good though. Everybody's up now, roughly I think. Everyone's making some breakfast. We're gonna hit the trail at 10, head out to this location, so. Good boy. Everybody wants to see you. All right, so we just made our first stop. There's a canyon just right up here that apparently has some uh, obsidian. So Coyote Works is making sure we all stop and we can go check it out if we want. There's that canyon. Old Dixon. We got everybody behind us, so I'm kind of in the middle of the group. You know, pieces would have come off of it like this then you can see this one they started working down like this would be like a core you can see that conchoidal fracturing along that side so this is a piece that they started working down to form some kind of a tool you can always tell these conchoidal fractures don't occur naturally nothing in the natural environment makes that kind of fracturing on obsidian okay. so if you see that if you see that conchoidal fracturing hike that out somewhere you know it's that was worked by the hand of man that's impressive that could have been they found uh sage sagebrush bark sandals not over in the fort rock area that are carbon dated at 11,000 years old. So wow. when you find a piece like this, it, it could be anywhere between 100 and 10,000 years old.
we just made it to our second camp. We're out here on this big lake bed, it's all dried up. I'm just off out here. Kinda away from the group a little bit. Have a nice quiet evening.